Hey, Shalom, brother Arad coming to you with another video. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakwadash. All right, that's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. And double honor to the apostles, bishops, elders, a great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Uh, Shalom to all you Akiam and you Akwat, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. And I wanted to flow in the spirit. You know, I was thinking about Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 12, you know, thinking upon the Lord's name uh, earlier, you know, how beautiful and precious, you know, these times are that the Lord woke us up and uh, revealed to us who we are. You know, he set up you know, our beautiful teachers who have been diligent. You know, you had men who were set up, you know, from Elder Abba Bivens, High Priest Yaquab, you know, King Masha. These men who uh, died or uh, transitioned, I would say, while being in the truth, these men were, they dedicated their lives to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then the, the legacy continues through our teachers, you know, uh, from the apostles, bishops, and elders on down. So this is set up beautifully the times that we're living in. Um, when you read Jude 1 and 5, and I'm just flowing through the spirit here, just uh, some thoughts that come to my mind uh, this morning. Jude 1 and 5 says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt and that people that the Lord saved out of the land of Egypt are the Israelites. Right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans. So the Lord is putting us back into remembrance, you know, of of his mercy he's had on us, who we are. You know, we're reflecting on. You know, our, our sins and our iniquities that we committed in our past lives. We're reflecting on how the Lord is uh, has always had mercy on us, how he saved us out of the land of Egypt from the from uh, Pharaoh and his army. Let me go into the word remembrance here. OK, the word remembrance, it says to cause to remember, bring to remembrance, recall to mind. Right. To be reminded. Right. <clears throat> it says suggest to the memory right memory so the lord has uh, reminded us and put us back into remembrance you know how he saved us out of the land of uh, uh of egypt you know from uh, under ancient pharaoh again which is still being talked about to this day it says after afterward destroyed them that believe not the lord destroyed the rebellious israelites that didn't believe even after the miracles the lord performed Right. Parting the Red Sea, all the plagues he brought upon, you know, ancient Egypt while preserving the Israelites while we were in the land of Goshen. So in these times, the Lord is uh, really having mercy upon us and, and things are aligned perfectly, man. You know, uh, when you read Baruch four and three and four, it says, O Lord o Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites. And of their children, which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee, their power. So how do we not hearken unto the voice of the Lord? Well, we didn't take heed to his prophets, his servants. We were disobedient. We went whoring after idols, calling on the, uh, the names of these idols, these dead idols of these heathens. So the Lord did exactly what he said he would do in Deuteronomy 28 chapter verse 15 on down, which goes into the curses says for the which caused these plagues cleave unto us so the lord put these plagues on us these these curses on us you know uh being the tail not the head going to the enemy and the one of all things you know uh a woman having an evil a uh, brother having an evil eye towards one another a uh, woman you know uh, uh not being ours you know uh, uh not having that uh natural affection for her womb hatred towards her husband or, you know, all these different things that we experienced because we 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 far beyond deserved it, man. You know, because the Lord truly punished us less than our iniquities deserve. He could have did worse. Right. But we deserve what we got right for being wicked as hell. Now, verse five says, remember not the iniquities of our of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name at this time. Verse six, for thou art the Lord, our power and thee, O Lord, will we praise. 
verse seven. And that's what we're coming back to praising our Lord, you know, calling on the true names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's very powerful, man. All right. Because the, the, when the Israelites come back to calling on the names of Yahweh by Shem Shai, the world better watch out. Great things are, are happening uh, as we see the great awakening of the Israelites happening in, this, in these times, as we being put in remembrance, you know, of who we are and what the Lord has done for us and what he's about to do for us. Right. It says, well, verse six, for thou art the Lord, our power and thee, O Lord, will we praise. Verse seven. And for this, thou has has put thy fear in our hearts. Right. Putting that fear back into our minds. We had to consider who we are. We had to stop, look at that sign and consider, OK, we're the Israelites. We got to be those people based off of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter and uh, throughout the Bible. And then the Lord, you know, instilled that fear, meaning respect, uh, order, you know, praise, uh, reverence, high praise. But you can't truly praise and reverence the Lord if you don't have his name. The teachers are giving the names out and you know the names but yet you don't call on the names. The scriptures say, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not is sin. Let me bring that out. Because I believe that's uh, in, in, in uh, St. James. Let me see. I think it's in the fifth chapter or the first. Let me try a second chapter. I know it's in here somewhere. <clears throat> There we go. It's in the fourth chapter. Let me bring this out. All right. Uh, St. James 4 and 15 says, For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Verse 16. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. I'm going to read these in the NLT. Verse 15 says, What ye ought to say, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Yeah, we always say Lord's will. Right. Because uh, we don't know, right? We always say Lord's will. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Because we haven't made it to the end. We're almost there, but we haven't made it. Verse 16 says, otherwise you are boasting about your own plans and all such boasting is evil. Yeah, you don't, you don't say what you're going to do as if you control your destiny. The Lord does, right? And it seems like you're boasting and bragging when, when you, uh, you, know, you do otherwise. Now, verse 17, going to KJV, it says, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it is sin. You know, you can take that. You can take the scripture and expound further, you know, into the point of, you know, you know, the names. You know, we know the names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, but yet you're still calling on Jesus Christ. You, you know, you're praising to the to, to JC. We, we cringe to say that name. You know what? What did Bishop Nathaniel say? I cringe. We cringe when we say JC. We don't even like saying those names because those aren't the names of uh, the Heavenly Father, and Only Begotten Son. We know the names now. So for those who know the name, but they don't call on the, those two names, which you got to have faith to call on those names anyway, it's a sin. And you truly can't say that you fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai if you have those names, but you don't use them, is my point. So going back to Baruch. Three and uh, seven, it says, and for this cause thou has put thy fear in our hearts, meaning in our minds. So now we're coming back to, uh, you know, fearing the Lord, reverencing, high respect and regard, order, obedience. You know, we're coming back to that. It says, because the Lord put it in our hearts, in our minds. It says to the intent that we should call upon thy name. So the Lord does not put the spirit of fear in your mind and he doesn't give you the faith to believe in the names and he ain't dealing with you. I mean, and this is humbly speaking, you know, Lord willing that the Lord continues to deal with us, but you don't think the Lord wants his name to be called on or requires that or demands that commands that. Yes, he does. It says, and praise thee in our captivity. Right, so we're gonna the scripture say we're gonna praise the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah in our captivity. Are we not doing that? 
So something great is about to happen. Great miracles, which which is happening now. All right, the uh, solar eclipses just took place. That was uh, who you think did that? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh did that. It's a sign from heaven, man, of the Lord soon to return. Right. So we praise the Lord in our captivity, and these devils are scared. It says, "For we have called to mind." All the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before us. So we recall, we remember the things that we did to offend the Lord. Right? It's still written in it's written in the scriptures. All the sellouts of the Israelites that sold out or who who uh turned Yahweh in to be crucified, you know, and, and uh plead for what do you call it? Uh mercy for a, a, a murderer, Barabbas. Stone the apostles. We remember all, all, all the shit that, that our forefathers, the wicked forefathers did, but they also recall the righteous forefathers and how they had integrity. We want to be like King David, you know, with integrity. We want to be like, uh, uh, you know, Shamrat, Meshach, and Abednego, the, the, the Maccabean brothers, the, the, the brothers that the scriptures talk about in the Maccabees, right? Uh, Judas Maccabees, you know, Mattathias, all these men with integrity we want to be like okay as we were calling you know uh our forefathers not just the iniquities of our forefathers but you know those who were righteous as well verse 8 says behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our forefathers which departed from the lord our power so we are yet this day in our captivity we're still under curses, even the Lord is, even though the Lord is lifting up these curses, you know, slowly but surely, you know, we're we're uh, we're seeing the great effects of, you know, coming back into the remembrance of former things, calling on the names Yahweh, Why Yahweh Shai, all right, and you gotta you gotta truly be a, a have Stockholm syndrome, or be a, a ninja if you uh, want to be stuck in captivity. You know the names, but you don't want to call on the names to be delivered. You want to pray. Uh, for the Lord to deliver us and bring hell and destruction upon this place. That's the only way to get salvation. Now, I'm going to close out on Acts 4 and 12. And I, again, I'm flowing through the spirit. It might have been a little all over the place. But the main point is uh, the names are so very important and it's precious. If you have the name of the Lord and you're still praying to JC, then, then screw you, man. Screw you. Acts 4 and 12 says, neither is there salvation in any other right neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved so the only way you don't get salvation is through yahweh by your by your by hashem yahweh shai right the only way got to believe in those names that those names also come with standards right obedience right fearing the lord all these things are very important. So we understand why a lot of these false prophets and, you know, their congregation don't call on those names because they don't even want to try to uphold the standard of what comes with those names, which is one of the main things is integrity. Right. And, and some of these false prophets sold out, you know, because so they don't even feel consciously right to even call on the names, man. But nevertheless, just want to do a lesson, Lord, when you edified all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai.